Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. The story of Romeo and Juliet takes place in Verona in Italy. Meet the cast. Lord and Lady Capulet. Juliet Capulet. Tybalt, Juliet's cousin. Count Paris, in love with Juliet. Juliet's nurse. Lord Montague. Romeo Montague. Mercutio. Romeo's best friend. Friar Lawrence. The Prince of Verona. In Verona, there are two families who hate each other, the Capulet family and the Montague family. Their fathers hated each other, and their grandfathers hated each other. Nobody can remember why. When Juliet Capulet and Romeo Montague meet and fall in love, the result is violence and death. The Montagues and the Capulets hate each other so much that they fight on the street whenever they meet. Stop it! Stop this fighting now! Everybody stop! Put down your swords and listen to me! I am very angry! This fighting must stop! If the Capulet family or the Montague family disturb the peace again, you will pay with your lives. One of these families, the Capulets, organizes a big party so that they can introduce their daughter, Juliet, to a rich nobleman, Count Paris, who was asked to marry her. Juliet is nearly 14, and her parents are keen for her to marry soon. Romeo is the son of the Montague family, Romeo and his friends decide that it would be exciting to go to the Capulets' party too. But they agree that they must go in disguise, because if they are recognised at the party by the Capulets, they might be killed. That night, at the party, Romeo meets Juliet. And they fall in love at first sight. However, Juliet's cousin, Tybalt, recognises Romeo, knows he is from the Montague family and wants to kill him. Romeo hides in the garden and talks to Juliet when she appears on her balcony. They realise that they are perfect for each other and decide to get married. The next day, they go to a priest called Friar Lawrence who marries them in secret. Tybalt challenges Romeo to a duel, but Romeo doesn't want to fight. Tybalt gets angry very easily. He starts a fight with Romeo's best friend. Mercutio fights Tybalt and is killed. Romeo is very angry that his friend Mercutio is dead. Romeo runs after Tybalt in anger and kills him. Romeo is sent away from Verona. Romeo must leave Verona and never return. If he returns, he will die. But Friar Lawrence, the priest who organised the secret wedding between Romeo and Juliet, arranges for them to spend one night together as husband and wife. Meanwhile, the Capulets decide that Juliet must marry Count Paris immediately. When she says that she doesn't want to, her parents are very angry with her. And her mother says that she will never speak to her again. Of course, they do not know that she is already secretly married to Romeo. 
Juliet asks Friar Lawrence to get her out of this difficult situation so that she can see her beloved Romeo again. Friar Lawrence has an idea. He gives Juliet a drug which will make everyone think that she is dead, when in fact she is only in a long, deep sleep. When the guests arrive for Juliet's wedding the next day, her lifeless body is discovered. Believing she is dead, her family put her in their tomb. While Juliet is sleeping, Friar Lawrence sends a message to Romeo to tell him to come to her tomb and take her away. Tragically, Romeo never gets Friar Lawrence's message that Juliet has taken a drug and is really alive. He only hears that she is dead. Friar Lawrence discovers that Romeo never received his message and he doesn't know Juliet is only sleeping. Romeo returns to Verona and goes to Juliet's tomb. There, inside the tomb, he meets Count Paris, who has also come to say goodbye to Juliet. The two fight and Romeo kills him. Romeo still believes that Juliet is dead, so he drinks poison and dies. But soon after this, Juliet's drug stops working and she wakes up. She sees that Romeo is dead, takes his knife and kills herself too. When the Capulets and the Montagues discover both their children dead, they are united in their sadness. The two families decide to make peace with each other and promise to build a monument to the memory of both Romeo and Juliet. <laughs>